Yo, you guys, welcome back to another video's Michigan Sports Talk here. And before we get into this one, if you guys are new around here, I greatly appreciate it. If you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. And I appreciate all the support I've been getting lately. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about Michigan football's offense and pretty much everything that we are expecting out of the roster here for Michigan and the starters and the backups and everything we need to know right now and what we know as of right now from the spring game and spring practices and everything as you know as spring practice and spring football is complete now for the Michigan Wolverines they prepare for the summer and training camp on to the 2021 football season here as they prepare for it and we're just going to be taking a look at the quarterback running back wide receivers tight end left tackle left guard center right guard right tackle and just an overview and everything on the michigan wolverines offensive side and you know maybe we'll make a defensive side if you guys do like this video we will make a defensive side if you guys want comment down below what videos you guys want me to make other than that let's get right into today's video Alright, so first of all, we're obviously going to be talking about the quarterback. The quarterback position is always something that Jim Harbaugh always leaves at last second. But I feel like Cade McNamara right now is going to be the starter. According to Matt Weiss, our quarterback coach, he said that Cade McNamara is leading the way right now and J.J. McCarthy is behind him. Uh, he says that J.J. McCarthy obviously still has to learn the offense and, you know, he's a freshman. So he's just young right now. So, you know, he will get better as he goes on. But right now, Cade McNamara is the leader and he has more experience and everything. So he's leading the way. Also, Alan Bowman, also thanks to the guy in the comment section on my last video, told me that he's not coming until summer. So he should be getting there soon on campus here in Michigan. But he was not there at the spring game. So we didn't get to see how he is here at Michigan. But assuming everything, he is the number three quarterback, obviously, because he hasn't really showed up or done anything with Michigan so far. So we still got to see how he is at the quarterback position. But right now, that is the, you know, kind of the uh, the race for quarterback, Cade McNamara at the number one spot and J.J. McCarthy right behind him at the number two spot. So moving on to the running backs, Hassan Haskins leading the way uh, you, you saw last year obviously Hassan Haskins did impress a lot of people and really showed up in games so he is running back number one right now and right behind him is Blake Corum the sophomore and Donovan Edwards the freshman obviously Donovan Edwards the five-star running back we got which was huge so yeah Blake Corum is right behind him and so is Donovan Edwards Blake Corum is very fast and so is Donovan Edwards as well if you guys do go ahead and want to watch Donovan Edwards and you guys didn't watch him in high school you guys should go ahead and watch his highlights he likes to run wildcat in high school he did so we might see a little bit of that if he does come in at running back next year but for sure at running back we do got a deep talented running backs uh, the, the another deep talented backfield here for Mike Hart obviously Mike Hart a new running back coach here for Michigan the all-time leading rusher here at Michigan a great player came back from Indiana and he's now coaching the running backs here at Michigan which was huge alright so I don't really know much about the offensive line but also that therefore I'm not gonna really you know say anything about it because I really don't know anything about it so I don't want to you know lead any false information or anything like that but all I can say is that you know the offensive line does have they were terrible last year I mean we could not run the ball on fourth and one or third and one at all so they really need to step it up we got what is it Sharon Moore I'm pretty sure it, yeah Sharon Moore is the offensive line assistant offensive coordinator so uh, or Sharon Moore so he is the coach of the offensive line, so he really needs to do a good job this year in the offensive line. Needs to show up for, you know, the running backs, Cade McNamara at quarterback, or whoever the quarterback is for Michigan this year. But, you know, I think Sharon Moore will, you know, I don't really, we don't really know much about him because he is a new hire here for Michigan, but pretty sure he was the one from the Cowboys that we got from the NFL. I covered that a while ago in a video. But yeah, the offensive line does need to do a good job next year. And but yeah. 
All right, so moving on to the wide receivers, obviously we got Ronnie Bell, the senior who came back from his junior year last year, so he's back. And Cornelius, Cornelius Johnson also made some great plays. So it's Ronnie Bell, Cornelius Johnson, and Roman Wilson. Those are the three wide receivers right now that you know should be starting as of right now. That's what you know the guess is here for Michigan. But Ronnie Bell, obviously, you know the leader for wide receivers, t really talented wide receiver. Uh, you know you, you look back at the 2000. 19 season he i mean we we did you know pretty good that year assuming or you know according to last season obviously we did a lot better in 2019 than last season but ronnie bell really was very great in that season he didn't t do too much last year but you know obviously we had a quarterback issue and we you know some quarterbacks couldn't throw the ball as great as you know shea patterson could obviously shea Patters patterson wasn't you know the best but he could you know he was better than, you know, how Joe Milton performed last year. Cade McNamara, he only really only played one game. That was in Rutgers, so we can't really, you know, obviously we can talk about that game, but we got to see how he does more against better teams and everything. So those are the wide receivers right there. And Cornelius Johnson, obviously, probably your, one of your tallest wide receivers. And Roman Wilson, also, you know, small, fast wide receiver. Uh, he did really, really good last year as a freshman. He went in there, got some great catches. So Cornelius, Cornelius Johnson also did a great job last year getting some catches. So very uh, interesting to see, and I can't wait to see how this offense is. Obviously, we got the talent, but we got to see who is quarterback and how we can, you know, how Josh Gaddis and the Michigan offense can produce next year. All right, coming in at tight ends, the only guy really that I can speak of is Eric All. I haven't really seen anybody else at tight end that has played. So Eric All, obviously, he did have a few uh, missed catches last year. He did miss some some catches, but Jim Harbaugh, uh, you know, spoke and praised about him. He said that he was, you know, when he missed those catches, he was surprised because he catches everything in practice. He said last year. So, obviously, you know, tight ends isn't as great right now, but we still got, you know, some young guys coming in that could be, you know, great here at tight end. But Eric All will be good, I think. You know, tight ends, obviously, we should use them a lot. Uh, we, we did use them a lot in 2016, especially with that one great year, but we'll see how we use them on Josh Gaddis' offense. Obviously, nothing will really change in the offensive side. Maybe a few, you know, different plays and everything, but, you know, you look at last year's game against Minnesota, we were striking, you know, almost every single play. The offense looked great, and that's really why everybody was hyping them up a lot, because the offense looked so great. And then after that game, really didn't produce much on offense, so we'll see how the offense does, but Josh Gaddis, entering his third year, has to do something good next year, or else, you know, could be the end of his career here at Michigan, but we'll see. Alright, so to end this video, just an overview over the Michigan offense. Obviously, you know, we do got some talent here. We got some young players on offense as well that can make a difference. But really, you know, it just starts with the offensive line producing and doing a great job and the quarterback situation. You know, we need a good quarterback, and if we have a good quarterback, we have a good running back and a good offensive line. That's all you can really ask for. The offensive line last year did not help us at all on offense. Quarterbacks were getting sacked they were getting pressured and we just could not run the ball for crap really but you know hopefully that changes next year obviously we got some good running backs coming in but that really you know you can't expect a good running back to run with a bad offensive line so we'll see how that goes but we do got some talent especially at wide receiver i can't wait to see these wide receivers you know we got some uh, you know, g great wide receivers here, younger ones. Obviously, Xavier Worthy entered the transfer portal, but we still got a lot of talent there at the wide receiver position. So, you know, I'm not too worried about the wide receiver position. I'm kind of worried about the offensive line, how they do, and the quarterback position. Obviously, you know, everybody was saying, oh, you know, J.J. McCarthy's coming in. You know, if Cade McNamara didn't do good, you know, we have him. We're now Alan Bowman. But, you know, you just don't know how these quarterbacks are going to perform. But we will see. I think Cade McNamara will get it done. I think he will get the starting job. So we'll see. Other than that, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you found it useful. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe for more. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.